Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am super excited today to be participating in Not Too Shabby's Mermaid and Friends Hop. I hope you'll stick around to see what I'm going to create, find out how you can follow along on the hop, and be entered to win a $25 gift certificate. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. As you may know, each month, Not Too Shabby puts out a fabulous card kit. You get stamps, paper, ephemera, and usually some little sequin goodies to use with your kit. Well, this month's kit is mermazing. It is filled with mermaid and sea creatures and ocean and shells and fun sentiments to go along with the stamps, ephemera, and paper. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to make four quick and easy cards using some of the ephemera from the kit along with four pieces of the 6x6 pattern paper and the Be Mermazing stamp set. And like I mentioned in the intro, you can follow along on the hop and then be entered to win for a $25 gift card. What you'll need to do is follow the hashtag, hashtag N2S Mermaid, which I do have at the very top of the description box below, and that will pop up all of the videos in today's hop. I hope that you'll go watch each one of those, give them a thumbs up, leave them some love, and then you can enter the raffle copter for the giveaway. So once you've visited all the other videos, come back here. I do have the raffle copter linked below, or you can always click on it on that last video that you visit. This will be open until June 7th. In front of me now are some items from my own stash that I'll be using. If I do add anything later on the process, I will be sure to let you know. But as always, if I leave you with any questions, you can always leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. I have already prepared four card bases. I have two that are portrait and two that are horizontal. Now I do want the pattern paper from this kit to stand out, but I also want my ephemera to stand out. So I pre-cut four strips of 17 pound vellum that are two and three quarters inches wide by six and a half inches tall. My sentiments will be stamped on that vellum, which means I will be using black stays on because you know ink does not soak into vellum, but stays on is for any slick surface. Let's get crafty. To get started, I cut down each of my pattern papers. The more pastel pieces were going to be vertical on the cards, so I cut those to four inches wide by five and a quarter inches tall, and then the two more watery looking or the blue pieces will be going horizontal. So those got cut to five and a quarter inches wide by four inches tall. I matched up each piece of my pattern papers with some ephemera to go with it and then I pulled in those vellum strips and this was when I realized they were a little bit too wide. I wanted more of the pattern paper to show through. So off camera I cut those to two and a half inches wide instead and then I started adhering them to the card fronts. Now I did mean to show you how I adhered them all but unfortunately missed the first couple but luckily I caught that for the last one so you can see I just wrapped it around the front and then added a little bit of adhesive on the back of those. Once that was done, it was time to stamp my sentiment and for the ones with shells, so the crab and the turtle, I'll be using Let's Shellabrate and the ones with the mermaid, I'll be using You Are Mermazing. I am going to use my Misty so I can set those up and make sure they stamp exactly where I want it and because of the stays on ink, sometimes I have to stamp that twice. 
I placed each of the card fronts into my Misty and laid the ephemera where I was going to want it on the final card. This allowed me to set up the sentiment in a good spot to go with the ephemera and then I inked those up and stamped it with stays on. I did make sure to clean off my stamp between each of the cards so that I could place the new card front on there and arrange the sentiment to go with the new ephemera without getting ink on my vellum. While I work on some more of the sentiments, I thought it would be a great time to stop by with the QOTV or the question of the video. Today I would like to know, have you ever used vellum in your card making? Let me know in the comment section below and make sure to include the hashtag, hashtag QOTV, so I know that you've answered the question and would like me to see it. For myself, of course, you know I have used vellum in my crafts and I actually enjoy using it a lot. I have three different weights, one that's this thin, that's kind of like a copy paper weight, up to 36 pound, which is more of like a cardstock, not quite as heavy, but I can use it for card bases. After I had all of the sentiment stamped, I could start assembling these cards. The first thing I did for each one was add adhesive to the back of the pattern paper and vellum piece and that got centered on each of the card fronts. Then it was time to get the ephemera adhered down as well. If the card had two pieces of ephemera, the more oceany doodad, like the coral, got adhered just flat to the vellum and then I brought in my big blue roll of foam tape to adhere down the mermaids or the crab and the turtle. This was because the card itself was pretty flat already, so this gave it a little bit of added dimension. I wanted to finish these cards off with a little bit of sparkle, so I brought in the blue sequins from the kit for the two cards with the blue backgrounds, and then for the two cards on the left, I got out some clear holographic sequins from my stash. I placed mini glue dots where I wanted each sequin to go on the finished card, and then I used my jewel picker to place a sequin on each of those. On the turtle, I did end up going with three groups of two sequins, and on the other cards, I just did a total of three. And here's a look at the finished cards. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made today's quick and easy cards. Ephemera is always a great way to add color to your cards without having to stamp and color an image. Don't forget to visit everybody else on the hop. You'll just click on that hashtag in the description box below and then enter that giveaway. Thank you so much for stopping by and until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.